everyone, so as a believer, I was challenged to share my testimony or just share a testimony. So mine's going to be a little different. Instead of on my life, I'm just going to share it on a time that God was really faithful to me and really just proved himself to me, and I'll obviously never forget it. Um, so bear with me through all this. I'm definitely going to trip on my words because if you know me, you know this is something that I don't do really at all. So yeah. But anyway, so this is back last year in about June, May, June, and I was having like really weird, like it sounds gross, but it's true, like bumps and like cuts, like wounds on my leg. And I was like, why is this? Like, this isn't normal. Like, I know I have skin issues, but this is not normal. So I went to the doctor to get it checked out just to, you know, make sure everything was okay, get to the bottom of it. And she told me that I have something called molluscum contagiosum. So as soon as she said that, I was like, pardon me? Like, what is that? Like, I've never heard of that in my life. Obviously, I don't think anyone has. But, um, and she told me basically it's a virus in my leg and it's contagious. So I can't do anything where I would come in contact with other people, like swimming in a pool, swimming at the beach, just any contact with my leg was unacceptable. So I was like, what? Like, it's June. If you know me, you know I love to swim. I'm a fish. Like, I will be in the pool till I am a raisin. Like, I love swimming. So as soon as she told me that, I was very discouraged and I was very sad. I was like, of all times for this to happen, June, like, and it, I did my research and I read that it could last up to four years. So I was like, oh man, like, by the time this is gone, I'm going to be halfway done with college. Like, what is going on? But, um, so... I was very sad, so I went through the whole summer just getting my treatments, they were very painful, but I was getting through them, and my doctor actually had it too, she had it, not even as bad as me at all, she just had like little sporadic like spots, I had it like if you know, you know, it was very bad, like I would have to change the bandage just cause it was like, it was, it was really gross, so I, the whole time, it was just very discouraging cause I was like, why is this happening, like, why is like am i dealing with this like of all times and i was like god i know that it happened for a reason and but please just show yourself through all of this in the end like what it was so um i was just going through the whole summer and camp came and camp was in august and it's just a week you know camp most of you where we just get to spend time with god and the beginning of the week someone actually a couple people told me that they believed that god was going to heal me that week and i was like okay you know obviously i'm human i had my doubts i didn't was like yeah he's gonna do it you know i'm ready for him. but like that was not my mindset like i was still doubting like wondering like is this really true like blah 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 <laughs> you know how it goes but um and the whole week still nothing no progress nothing until saturday morning came and the speaker shannon spoke upon healing and like any all types of healing like mental physical spiritual healing and that morning my friend jordan um he asked the whole camp like everyone just if they could pray for me and for my leg because it was it was rough but um so that was something that meant a lot because everyone came together, like everyone, just to pray for me in agreement, to pray for healing. And it meant so much to me just to have everyone do that for me because it was just a moment where I really felt just loved so much by everyone. And I knew, I was like, okay, God, you know, still doubting Ava, just like doubting Thomas who was doubting Ava. I still had my doubts. Like I had faith and I had a little bit of faith. And I was like, God, I believe you can do this. Like let's go like I believe in you but then there's always the part of you that's like but like what if like what if like but God came through um flash forward September I think it was like late September I had my next appointment and I went I was like oh ready for my next treatment and she looked at it and she said you know it's all gone and I was like what like, and she was like yeah like it's all gone like it left scarring but the virus itself she was like yeah it's all gone and I was three months, not four years, it was three months. And she, who had it way not as bad as me, she still had hers. Like, she was still dealing with it and getting rid of it. And she, hers was like, mine was like quadruple as bad as hers. Like, it was bad. And she told me, she said, yeah, it's all gone. And I was like, whoa. Like, that's just a moment that God really showed up for me. Because even with my doubts, I just had a little bit of faith and god provided and the faith of just everyone really god he made a move and still don't have it anymore <laughs> i don't plan on having it again but um 
yeah, so that's just a testament of God's faithfulness in my life and just something that I will always cherish that God did for me. And I hope this encourages you. If you're going through something, just keep praying because God, he'll answer you and he'll come through and he'll provide for you. Even if you don't see the miracle coming, the miracle is going to come in any shape or form. It'll come even if you're not expecting it.